If we were attempting to use superheroes to map out classic Christological heresies, not that we are, but if we were, Spider-Man as Christ would be adoptionism, because Peter Parker has only a human nature before being radioactively bitten into the superhero club. It's like saying Jesus was just a regular human being until he was dove-bombed at his baptism. Nope, because of Christmas. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Superman as Christ, on the other hand, would be the Christological heresy of Docetism by not being man. Here's a clip from Kill Bill 2 to make the point. It's a couple of minutes long, but I think you've got the attention span to cope with it. I believe in you. I'm quite keen on comic books. Especially the ones about superheroes. I find the whole mythology surrounding superheroes fascinating. Take my favorite superhero, Superman. Not a great comic book, not particularly well drawn. Mm. But the mythology, the mythology is not only great, it's unique. How long does this take to go into effect? About two minutes. Just long enough for me to finish my point. Now, a staple of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's the alter ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. When that character wakes up in the morning, he's Peter Parker. He has to put on a costume to become Spider-Man. And it is in that characteristic Superman stands alone. Superman didn't become Superman. Superman was born Superman. When Superman wakes up in the morning, he's Superman. His alter ego is Clark Kent. His outfit with the big red S. That's the blanket he was wrapped in as a baby when the Kents found him. Those are his clothes. What Kent wears, the glasses, the business suit, that's the costume. That's the costume Superman wears to blend in with us. Clark Kent is how Superman views us. And what are the characteristics of Clark Kent? He's weak. He's unsure of himself. He's a coward. Clark Kent is Superman's critique on the whole human race. So Superman is never really human. He's just pretending. The unipersonality of Jesus Christ as revealed in the scriptures and defended at the Council of Nicaea in 325 is difficult to directly analogue into human fiction. There are limits to our literary illustrations. Of course, it's quite possible that our superheroes map onto other biblical characters. There's an argument to say that Superman's origin story is more like Moses. 